Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So there is one more small check we have to add in the singleton pattern that what if someone is trying to create the object with the clonable interface. So we can override the method like clone method from the clonable interface and then anyone can try to create the object and then object will be created. So then in that case, it's a, it's not a singleton pattern. Then it's then in that case that we are creating multiple objects, right? So it's a violation of this singleton pattern. So what we can do here is that, for example, let's see this browser is already implementing the serializable interface. And then I'm writing one more interface that is called a clonable interface. And this clonable interface is having one method that we have to override here. See, I'm going to override this method with the, let's see, protected and then let's see initially void and then i'm going to override this clone method actually here and this uh, clone method is actually overridden so let me write over right here and uh, this method will actually return the object so let's change the object and uh, here this method also says that the method must return a result of type object and add return a statement so here i don't want to return the specific object i simply say that throw new exception here that uh, let's see throw new clone not supported exception here so here i'm writing clone not uh, supported exception that is what i want to return and with a message over here that uh, that singleton instance cannot be cloned okay this is a message that i want to return and then if this message is giving me this exception let me add a throws a statement here so this is let's see one overridden method which is already defined and uh, coming from the clonable interface right simple and then we have to come to our test class where i'm having this main method let's uh, test this particular feature so first i'll do one thing i'm going to create one single instance of this particular class so simple using get instance method and let's see i'm storing inside the instance a number one which is equal to this and from this instance we will try to clone it so we will call this particular clone method and this clone method says okay we are going to give you clone not supported exception let's handle with the try catch block here this is a one and then i'm going to store inside the clone or inside the instance number two which is equal to this and let's see instance number two that is what i'm doing and uh, let me do the casting to the uh, browser here. Let's add cast to the browser, All right? So with this mechanism, if someone is trying to create the object, I mean the second instance, you can see the instance numbers two, it will try to create with the help of this particular clone method. In the clone method, I'm not writing any cloning uh, code or any cloning mechanism. Generally we write it, okay, yeah, we can call the constructor of this class or maybe we can call the super dot clone method also, which will help me to create the object of this class. But right now I'm not doing anything. I'm just simple throwing clone not supported exception with this particular a message that singleton instance cannot be cloned. Then after that, let's uh, see, is it really working or not? So at line number 10 itself, it will give you the exception that singleton instance cannot be cloned. So if you... Uh, see the exception here on the console. Let's see that again. And then see, it says that cloned not support exception. Singleton uh, instance cannot be cloned here, right? So this is absolutely working fine. So this is also a very uh, good use case, a corner case, very important for interview point of view, that if I really want to avoid or prevent the cloning in the singleton, add it here, right? So these are the mechanism that you have to add. You have to override the clone method. You have to add this particular add read resolve method that we have to add it. And then singleton uh, logic that we have already written over here. We have to add uh, the reflection attack handling. Also, we have to add it through reflection if someone is trying to create the object. So you have to think all the use cases while designing the singleton pattern. And if you're giving all these use cases and the corner cases at the time of interview also, I'm sure your answer will be different from others. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much, guys.